Bye. Now, there are some big plans for the big house. One of Victoria's oldest and most notorious jails, the old Geelong Jail, could soon be housing a very different type of inmate. The local council is considering selling the property and turning it into a hotel or even apartments, but with wow. such a dark history, it may not be everyone's idea of a relaxing <laughs> night away. So who do you send to a Geelong jail? We sent our very own Geelong girl, <laughs> Rebecca Matten. A celebrity. To, to take a look around. <laughs> not that you belong in jail. Thank you. But you do belong in Geelong. Um, what did you find there? Is it well, spooky? I, yeah, I actually found it really fascinating. I've never been inside any type of jail before. My mum will be happy to hear that. Um, <laughs> But I actually found it fascinating, the conditions there, um, it's closed 20 years ago, were actually really primitive and 20 years ago is not that long ago. So I found it fascinating, Geelong City Council has big plans, let's go inside and have a look. I'm a sceptical believer, but if I can't explain them, then what else can they be? Erin Campbell knows more about Old Geelong Jail than most. She takes ghost tours here, and today she's showing me around. Quite often people hear a little girl laughing down this end of the jail, um, crying, that kind of thing. Have you? I have. Now, I'm not a scaredy cat, but this place just makes you jumpy. Inside, it's cold and eerie. Understandably, some atrocious things happened here. There were some hangings at this jail? Certainly were. And this is about the area where it took place? This is exactly the area <laughs> that you're looking at. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little. Okay. Don't worry, those people aren't real. Pull the handle, the trap door just drops and the person just drops. Oh. Drops through. In view uh, of everyone. In view of everyone. Brian Hall is a Rotarian. His Geelong branch leases the jail. He doesn't want it developed because of its historical significance. He saw himself as a bad man, you know. That's true. He only got rid of those that needed getting rid of, is uh, his story. That would be the story of one of Australia's most famous criminals, Mark Chopper Reed. He spent time in these cells, so too did another famous name belonging to Melbourne's underworld, Jason Moran. Now this is the solitary confinement cell or loss of privileges cell. You can see it is only this wide. Inside it had a mattress, a very thin mattress, no table, no chairs and only a bucket to use as a toilet. But the really frightening thing is this is not a cell from decades and decades ago. It was used as recently as 1991. But after more than 20 years of being empty, Geelong's flamboyant mayor, Darren Lyons, says it's now time for the jail to be revitalised. Britain and France have done amazing things, even at Rottnest Island. They've got a five-star hotel and spa in their prison on Rottnest. That's a huge success. Oxford in England, the Malmaison group, have made it into a stunning five-star uh, hotel and spa and bar and wine cellar and, oh, a cellar door, actually. What will happen in the future with this historic jail is a fair way off, but I think there's only one question that really needs to be answered here, and that is, would you be happy staying in a jail? Old Geelong Jail, would you like to live there or stay no, there? No, I've been for a visit, it's creepy. If they did something nice with it, that wouldn't bother me, no. You wouldn't be scared by the old prisoner ghosts? No. That is, of course, until you've come face to face with one. Okay, so as you can see, if they are going to turn it into something like a hotel or a combination, there needs to be a fair bit of renovation work yeah, to be done. Yeah, but it is right. really creepy. Yeah, it it's looks very like cold. It. It's very eerie. And overseas, they do turn them into uh, jails and monasteries and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Into, into some bed and wonderful. breakfast. Yeah. Or there's also plans maybe for a big um, recording studio. I imagine the, the acoustics are really good, so wow. that could be another alternative as well. But uh, plans are on the table to do something with Old Geelong Jail. Mm. Do you right. think anyone's ever worn a, a big furry coat and leopard print pants <laughs> into the jail before? <laughs> no, because bad things happen to people who wear big furry coats and leopard pants in jail. <laughs> 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 He's a good character, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good Thank guy. you, Beck. All right.